was looking all over the place for a video on how to take these apart. I couldn't find one. So I asked a bunch of dumb questions. Just looking around. So I thought I'd make this video. Maybe it'll help somebody out. So I already took apart the first one and I learned a little bit about taking them apart better. So I'm gonna try the second one right now. Um, I'm gonna show you how to get from this to that. And if you actually look, I'll give you a little walkthrough of everything that there is. We have this part. I'm a visual person, so I like to show people things, right? Right inside of there, we have this nut. This does unscrew. I wasn't sure if it even unscrewed when I started. Okay, so that's going to be the first part that we take off. We unscrew this from this piece of pipe, right? After that, we're going to unscrew this piece. Then, well, I'll show you, okay? So we're gonna get from point A to point B. I don't have a tripod, so I might have to set my camera down a little bit. We will see though, okay? So, inch and a half socket, that's what I put here. And then I'm trying to get this nut off by itself. So I'm gonna actually put a pipe wrench on this, hold this in place while I pull up here. Right? Uh, where can I set this? We'll set it right like this. How about that? Sorry, it's not going to be a perfect video. But that's what free help is. simple it comes off right like that now everything that I figured out I figured out just by looking at the book right so the book gives a nice layout of your valve so I'm gonna lay everything out in the same exact way right um, next which is nice and clean in here the other one didn't have that cap so it's really dirty just gonna take a screwdriver I'm going to unscrew this, but I want to be mindful because there's a spring, which is this spring right here. You see, I have everything laid out in the order that it goes together. So here comes a spring or the screw set that right there. And I know I'm setting on a dirty surface, but I'm cleaning. Gonna clean everything up real nice. Here goes that spring. This one is in a lot better shape already. I can tell just by how it's coming apart. Okay, so some other things in there. I'm gonna take that pipe wrench. I'm gonna break this pipe loose. Big pipe wrench. one hand pipe wrench I need to tighten that up excuse me while I do this the wrong way and then the right way this is from an 856 that's been sitting outside for who knows how long. Didn't have a seat on it. 
So this stuff is as rusty as can be. So I unscrew that. Second time is going so much better. It's like I'm learning stuff. Oh yeah, we got those three balls. Okay, two of those balls came out already. Yeah, everything was really frozen in that first one. It's probably not even necessary that I'm taking the second one apart. Another thing you want to be mindful, there's three little balls that are in there. Two of them came out already. Here's the three that I'm talking about. I might have uh, actually dropped it. Oh, I see it. It's actually in there still. Okay. Um, next thing is I will this part actually unscrews separate from this. Okay. And that's the next part that comes up, comes out. Okay. This right here is that. Might have to set you down again. I'm going to set you down. <coughs> Sorry. Um, just unscrewed this. Okay. Here we're using really specific terms. This and that. So what you just saw me push out with the punch, I, which not really a punch, but just something thin, because it's not, it doesn't come out hard. But you have this little pin, uh, which what does the book call it? Calls it uh, an unlatching piston, and then also this ball and ring. So it comes out just that way. You just push it out with this punch. I'm gonna lay everything out in order. So first, I unscrewed this. I unscrewed this cap, spring came out, then my balls dropped. This came out later, but the diagram shows it right here. It's going to go inside there. Basically, 
this is supposed to be about right here in this um, actuator. And then the three balls go there. Just laying everything out the way the book shows. Right? Going by the book. Super smart. Big brain power. Spring, washer. There we go. Last thing that's going to come out is your actual um, your actual spool. And that just slide, comes all the way out. There's nothing you need to worry from there. There is an O-ring in here. Right, I'm going to be replacing that O-ring. That's everything that I'm doing. I'm replacing O-rings. Um, I haven't ever tested these. I'm assuming they aren't working. The last thing that you got to do is this check valve. This is what gave me the most trouble, again, because this tractor's been sitting out. Um, I had to break the... Uh, um, there was a snap ring. Looks like this snap ring's actually gone. Um... So I'm going to clean this up in here and I'm actually going to spray it with uh, some penetrating oil. Let that sit a little bit. I should have done that first uh, to let the penetrating oil get in. But then I'm going to pry. I have two of these. I'm just going to pry up and the piece is going to pop out. All it is is uh, wait a second. This is the part that comes out, came out no problem. So, you know, you pry it, comes out. There's an O-ring that I'm gonna replace. And this spring, little spool. Okay. So I'm gonna clean everything up real nice, get all the uh, rust out, all the dirt. Replace O-rings, put it back together, and then I'm going to put it on my uh, 706, and I'll have dual hydraulics. Yay! So, I hope this helps somebody. It helped uh, the questions that I asked on the IH group. A lot of really helpful people, but video for uh, more visually-minded people, All right? I also have this one. Maybe I'll do something with this one, put up a third hydraulic. Okay, everybody, have a great day.